it's the start of March and well, the deliveries have started arriving a little bit sooner than they did last month. Anyway, this month we're going to try out some of these guys. They reckon they're 14 watts, 1400 lumens in bayonet cap. We'll see how they go and excuse the, uh, I'm running a hacked client in Minecraft in the background to uh, run a mob farm. So that's how I play games these days by not playing them. Anyway, we'll see how these go. These look interesting enough. And uh, yeah, later on this month, I will make mentions to how well they go. Anyway, let's see what else we get. All right, a quickie little delivery. Had a couple of uh, packs of memory sticks. I get through these like hotcakes every time I go in for my infusion uh, or treatment for MS. I pick up a few more of these. Mainly because I've got uh, something like 16 cameras on my house and about another 100 around town that I've installed over the years uh, that I maintain. So I have regular contact with police who want footage. And so I keep donating memory sticks, but all in the name of assisting the local constabulary. Anyway, these are verbatim 32 gig ones. I'm hoping these are a bit faster than the other ones because the cheapy ones I've been buying are good for something like five meg a second. Where are we? I've got some drawers up here. I can probably dig up one of them and find out what brand it is. All right, no sooner did I do my last delivery, we got this one showed up. So we'll see if this is what I think it is. Um, and if it is, it's an expensive piece of equipment for what it is, but uh, that's not any fault of the supplier. I need some scissors. All right, mostly because I don't have my pocket knife handy. It's much better at doing these things. All right, what have we got here? Uh, yes, this is what I thought it was. This is the uh, filter element for my k Vario. I don't even know if I pronounce any of that right with my Aussie tongue. But uh, anyway, this is about 80 bucks worth. Um, this is a new filter element uh, for my uh, hiking water filter. And uh, the other one is basically new, except it's very brown looking. I pumped about 10 or 15 litres of uh, extremely silty water. And the ceramic pre-filter didn't quite do the job. So I have another one of these. And you can hear from the shake, it's got fresh carbon in it too. You can get replacement carbon packs for the middle. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start fresh from this, even though it's expensive. But it does give me a spare filter. And I'll try and figure out how to back flush the other one. Um, but yeah, this is uh, going to live under the seat of my uh, Argo, my eight-wheel drive amphibious vehicle. Because if I get stuck in that thing, it could be days before anybody can get to me, if at all. So I will need to, um, to pump some fresh water out of whatever available source there is. Not salt water, of course, but... Um, fresh water sources and I'm going to sort out a, uh, a water bag to pre-filter a lot of the sediment out of water before I pump it through that too so we'll work on that but anyway um actually how much really was that let's check this piece of paper up here um $99 is the retail price for that so the whole filter cost me 230 bucks and it's about another 30 bucks for the ceramic pre-filter that I've got as well. But I can, you know, they're not too bad. So yeah, I'll carry two filters. Um, if I want to do junky water, I can use the old filter. Anyway, we've we'll probably got other stuff showing up. So uh, let's get on with it. All right. So the next day, we've had this show up. Let's um, get this open with the uh, packing label off the screen a little bit here. They've stuck that right across the join in the box. We'll see what we've got. Alright. We have a box that is like vastly oversized for it. This is the ceramic pre-filter for the Caterden Vario. You know what? We might as well swap this filter over now. Alright, so we're midway through March with donations and deliveries. And basically nothing has shown up except for this. And I 100% know what this is because of the tracking number. 
this would be my replacement passport. It has been 10 years since I've been issued a passport. Let me just remove the identifying stuff out of the way here. All right, so they send it to you with the Smart Traveler's tip book as well. Well, March uh, continues to be fairly slow for deliveries and donations, but we had a delivery today of uh, some mystery boxes. These aren't so mystery. These uh, go in the footwell of this thing. They're the little folding boxes that hinge out from underneath the beds. We only had one of them when we got it, but now we have a bunch more of them. So these will be handy. Um, one of them, I think, is at least full of water, but we can fix that. And, uh, yeah, so we'll be able to store a little bit more stuff in the footwell once we clean them up, of course. All right, I'm still waiting on a delivery from Russia, but uh, I'm not confident that that's going to show up. There is a delivery supposed to show up today sometime. We'll see when that gets here. All right, well, we have had a delivery show up uh, in March. I wasn't expecting too much, but we'll see how we go. Um... Partly because I haven't ordered a lot. I've decided I had to curb on the spending a little bit. And um, there hasn't been many deliveries. Or donations, rather. Or both. Anyway, this... Um, I'm pretty sure I know what this is going to be. But let's just confirm. Can I get it out of a package here? Alright. This is a high quality um, DC... DVAC adapter. All right, I'm pretty sure I know what this is for. Um, yep, this will be for a handy cam that I'm going to do a video on. I've been asked to pull some footage up on that, and um, it was last used in the USA some years ago. Um, I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, this is an aftermarket power supply for it. We'll see if it actually fits in. Um, and the rest I'll put in a different video. Where did this plug in again? It had some little... I think, is that it there? No, it's got a little... <laughs> the way we used to do things, eh? I do things on a GoPro now. Um, but back in the early days of filming, I used to do stuff on things like this. Um, that feels like that. Ah, it's going to connect. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do a video on that separate to the donations and deliveries. And uh, we'll see how we go. Alright, so this is a noisy clip for donations and deliveries. I've been out, it's a very hot day, um, and it's turned humid and started raining, so I need air conditioning. Anyway, um, this is not a donation. I went out with Tinkerman Mick and um, crashed my drone for the first time ever. That's my DJI Air 2S. The only casualty was the props, and I got the Fly More combo, so I have spare props. Anyway, after that event, Mick uh, bought me a bit of a Prezi. I've got a two-port HDMI splitter that doesn't really have enough bandwidth to do its job, but it keeps dropping out. So the HDMI output I have running to uh, my uh, my senior financial manager's office from the DVR um, cuts in and out all the time. Whereas this one, I'm hoping will do better. Uh, and I'll be able to watch it in this room as well. I've got a two-port one, but it's crapo so we will uh actually i'm going to open this up and see what's in the box because i'm curious too hey typically for me i'm going to use the conventional route and try scissors that may potentially stab me in the hand probably don't do this at home kids it is certainly not a recommended method but it got me in and these guys let's use all the tools that we shouldn't Packages to this day still mystify me. Maybe we need a standardization protocol. Straight away, I think I see how they've done the power supply in this. At least this has its own power supply instead of relying on USB. That's nice. We have, this is a style I haven't quite seen before. And I have all these throwaway bits. I would think if they were shipping it into Australia, they might just put the correct one on there. Anyway. This also means this is probably rated for 110 volts. It says to 240 volts, but every time I have to click this on, I get the feeling they're designed for 110 volts. Anyway, this is the unit that feels quite heavy and it's made from aluminium. 
at least, or maybe steel, maybe anodized steel. It's a um, very heavy unit. Yeah, I think it's anodized steel. Anyway, we have lights for each channel and a reset. Oh, reset button. Thank you. Um, so hopefully this has the throughput enough to do two channels. We put that in service right now, and uh, maybe later in the video I'll make mention of it, or maybe I'll do a video all on our own of this one. Anyway, we'll be back. All right, so we're out in the field for probably the last delivery of the month. We have some shoot and see targets. These uh, turn bright green when you shoot a hole in them. In order to test them, we have some uh, 22 Magnums, some 410 shotgun shells, and some some 22 long rifles as well. And uh, also, we got ourselves a second handy rifle case. But you'll see at the start of April what all this is for. Anyway, this is the end of our donations and deliveries for this month. Hope some more interesting stuff shows up. And uh, we'll have